Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Jumping into our electric bike shift sensor. What is it and how does it work? We'll get into the tools with some close-ups and uh, we'll do some installation. Plus, we'll plug the battery in, give this guy a spin, and I'll show you exactly how the shift sensor works and why you need one. Stay tuned for the close-ups. All right, so I got my handy dandy box of goodies. So this is what a shift sensor looks like. We'll get this feral end out. But a uh, simple little sensor. It plugs into your mid-drive controller. Basically, it senses the cable movement inside of this, this unit, sends a signal to your controller, and it pauses the electricity pauses the power to that motor for a duration of time a quarter of a second or so just enough to take that power off and allow a smooth shift without tearing up gears without breaking chains so a, a mid-drive motor i mean you can get things that are you know 1500 watts or 160 newton meters of torque that's like four or five times what a person can do this little gadget will just pause that power just for a second while you shift and allow um, your drivetrain to last longer. So that's the shift sensor. What do you need to put it in? Get some good cable cutters for the housing and your cable itself. Um, you're probably going to need some cable for, you know, the furl ends. These just, you know, clean things up. Uh, zip ties in order to uh, manage the wire a usually it's an allen wrench it might be a screwdriver but this is for cable removal your shift cable removal i've got some pliers mostly for pulling the zip ties tight nothing big there and maybe tightening up our shifter cable as well some clippers for trimming off our zip ties and if you've seen my other videos until I nailed down exactly how I want my wiring to go um, I got one more thing to put in I got a brake light I'll be installing I will put things together with a little bit of blue painters tape just so I get an understanding of where exactly I want the wires to go let's do some close-ups on the bike we'll get this thing installed and try it out hey David here I'm breaking in real quick that link I keep mentioning takes you to a step-by-step -step page. Picking the right bike, what's inside the kit, disassembling your bike, installing the motor, five steps for an e-bike wiring and components, putting your taillight on, routing and organizing, and then it goes into other items as well. Each one of these pictures you can click on is an article with in this case, detailed instructions for installing the motor. What tools do you need? And then it includes a video. So I keep mentioning, go to that link below. This is why I've got it all organized in a nice, clean format for you to take you from start to end. So a gear shift sensor can be applied anywhere along our shifter cable. So once you convert your bike over, Usually you only have the rear derailleur shifter, right? And you can apply it anywhere along our cable. So this is my shifter cable, this guy right here. So it could go there, you could go, you, to dress it up nice, it'd be nice to have it towards one of the ends where you got these brazen fittings. A popular spot is right down here at this brazen right here, nice clean spot. But you always want to remember be conscious of your wires, right? Getting a lot of wires down by all your gears and your chain can be a little bit dangerous, right? Cutting things, breaking things, whatever it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm installing my gear shift sensor up here. It's gonna be located right about here. I'll knock it up against the brazen on the top of the top tube. I will cut a section of our housing out to allow me to fit this in. And then my wiring will route down my seat tube, right, down to the controller down there. So that's the plan. All right, the first step, taking off your cable. 
right? You're going to have to pull the cable out of the, the housings in order to cut the housing and then you'll reinstall. Usually, I can just knock these guys off real quick. That little end, we'll put another one on. Try to keep that nice and clean. You've got to thread that back through your housing and the cable sensor. So get that off. Let's. Oh, another one real quick. Shift your gears down to your smallest cog, your smallest gear in the back here. I would say it's like gear nine for this bike. That will allow your derailleur to come back to its spring stop out this way. And that'll give you a good starting reference for reinstalling the cable without having to adjust the derailleur a whole lot. So in the smallest gear, we pull that through here. So again, we took that cable off of the derailleur in order to give us some slack in the housing. So I got our cable off. We're gonna pull off this end. And I'm gonna measure this a little bit shorter. Why shorter, we'll talk about in a second. We're gonna cut off a section of this housing in order to replace it with the shift sensor. This is the beauty of some good cable cutters. You get a nice clean cut, but I do want to show you something. You really want to take a close look. Let me see if I can show you at that opening. I've got a little tool I made. I mean, it's literally a nail and a block of wood. Just clean up that opening just ever so slightly, right? To clean it up just like that. We'll reinstall our ferrule in. Now we'll get our shift sensor and we'll get this ferrule in. So we're going to place that guy in there. All right, put that in there. This is going to go inside of here. And then my wire is going to go here. So we take our cable, make sure we're nice and straight, make sure everything is twisted together. We got one little fine one there. A lot of times if you spin the, the cable wire and gently apply some, power, some push, you'll get that cable to go through. Now you see I got it all unraveled there. That's okay, we're good. So this is gonna go in here. So now we put our cable section. So I'm spinning, putting it in, push it in until it stops, keep spinning. I got it out the end. Let's get our wires here. Pulling this tight. And then we'll put it into this braze on down here. The reason you want a little bit of tension in here, this shift sensor, oops, I'm gonna get this guy in here. This shift sensor, right, can't slide on that cable housing. It needs to be integral to that cable housing, tight on there. So that's how it's gonna sit. I like it here. We're clear of my brakes. My wiring is gonna route right down the seat tube. All right, let's keep going. Here's my other section of cable. All right, just make sure we're twisted up nice and tight. Again, twisting, twisting, till I stop. Twist, we'll get that through. This is gonna route on the outside of my rack. Through the alignment opening here. And then from here, we're going to reattach it onto our derailleur. All right, our cable's coming down, shifter cable. Let's loosen this up a little bit. All right, so right before you 
tighten this down. You do want to pull on it just ever so slightly. You want to take out the tension. I'm not pulling real hard, just enough to pull the slack out of that cable. Let's get a little pretty air in here. <clears throat> like it. Our last part of this is a little bit of cable management. So we're going to put this out here. I want to keep it loose. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small <laughs> So let's test it out Battery on Switch on Power on we're gonna relocate our microphone. So I'm hoping you can catch me talking along with the bike. So I'm gonna apply some power. Now I'm gonna shift. So you might have been able to hear it. It cut the power briefly to the motor. It allowed the derailleur to engage to the next gear and then turn back on and apply the power. And so that is a gear shift sensor. Subscribe.